Hello everyone. Welcome to an unboxing video of Star Tracker 150 telescope. It's coming with an equatorial mount and a, a right ascension motor drive. So let's get right into it. So I bought this from the Tej Raj website and uh, it took around four to five days for it to get delivered. So according to the shipping manifest this entire item is around 20 kilograms so it was pretty heavy. I think we might need to speed this part up. Uh, the shipping package itself uh, cost a significant amount so they have done a very good job in packing these items since it's very fragile. Okay, here we go. This comes with a lot of accessories and this is the Dejraj and Co's visiting card and other things. They have their office in Mumbai. Okay, let me keep this aside. I think this should be the map of the moon, I suppose. Let me see. Yeah, it is indeed the map of the moon with all the craters and the mountains marked in it. So this would be easier for us to, you know, look at the moon and identify these craters and these points on the surface of the moon. Let this also be kept aside. Okay, this is the uh, user manual for the RA drive. Yeah, I'll go through these later. Okay, this is the Star Atlas. Should have a lot. Okay, this have got coordinates of various galaxies and objects of the sky okay this is 109 deep sky colville catalog okay another catalog with all the galaxies and nebula hundred and ten messier objects their coordinates as well Yeah, deep sky photos. Okay. This is the instruction manual for the telescope. Hmm. Well, it has instruction manual for EQ1 and EQ2 mounts. I think we have got an EQ3 mount, I'm not sure. So, anyway, we'll figure that out. What is this? It's a star dial. Not sure how to use this yet. This is the actual telescope's guide. Uh, telescope EQ3 mount, EQ2 mount. 
Alt-A-Z mount, equatorial mount, everything is there in this. I might need to go through this later while setting this up. Okay. Now we have got the actual device. This, this is the actual equatorial mount of the telescope. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, okay. This is the uh, right ascension motor. Ah uh, yes, according to the website it requires 6 diesel batteries and for that very purpose I have bought some diesel batteries on Amazon. Better go with Duracell because it lasts longer. So these are some diesel alkaline batteries. This is the battery holder. Okay, oh, this is the solar filter that uh, came with this. The second cap. The actual motor driver. This got 8x2x speed with the, the switch for north and south pole and an on and off switch as well. All these plates are to be mounted. I'm yet to be sure where all these parts go. Seems to be another lens okay this is a galaxy eyepiece in order to get a wider uh, field of view for the galaxies unlike planets which requires a much tighter field of view okay this is a collimation cap that comes with it I wasn't sure I'd get this so since this is a reflector telescope it requires collimation and uh, it's a fairly simple process. These are all things that's supposed to be for the equatorial mount. All the screws and everything is there here. So if you if you are interested in seeing me set this up and everything, be sure to follow us and We'd take you through our journey while we learn to observe the stars and other galaxies. Okay, these are various lenses and other things and I think maybe a lubrication gel for the motor. Not sure. So I really need to check the manuals for these things. Let me put this back for now. Desiccant gels in the desiccant cap. Okay. Could be the weight for counterbalance for the scope. <laughs> what is this?
this is quite heavy probably the counterbalance weights I might be very wrong but that's what I'm going with okay now for the tube itself oh, okay there's a mount over here I guess this is the tripod seems to be made from aluminum okay, there are quite a lot of pieces in this I'm not sure how to make this work but let's see seriously I don't know how to make these work okay now for the main part the actual telescope Wow, it's wonderful. Okay, this is the Star Tracker 150 millimeter telescope, 150 minutes, six inch aperture, 750 focal length, and yeah, it's a Newtonian mirror reflector telescope. No wonder. If you want to buy the carrying case for this, you can order from there as well. There is a lot of options like parrot cases, a normal case, cases for the um, tripods as well so this is a hobby that requires a lot of patience and have a bit of a learning curve but once you get the hang of it I hope it will be worth it okay that's it for the unboxing it will take quite some time for me to uh, learn how to assemble these things collimate the telescope figure out how to make the motors work and everything but once it's done we'll be able to see the planets the galaxies and everything and i really want to get into astrophotography as a hobby so this is my first step into it so if you guys are interested to join me while i learn to do this while i gaze at the stars the galaxies Kindly subscribe to our channel if you want to keep updated on um, my daily adventure, my monthly updates and progress and everything and we can continue the journey together. Thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far. Have a very pleasant day.